Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode we started off with our dwarf, dwarf Rorkoff. And now we're going to be moving forward and trying to level the son of a gun up. Should we join the Lord of the Rings community? I think it'll depend on how much I get into this game. And I'm sorry if I seemed a little distracted in the last episode. I kind of was low-key. had some stuff going on. Nothing, like, you know, nothing bad. Just some stuff. Uh, but I am good. And you guys now have my undivided attention. All right. Let's get all that out of the way. I will admit, this game definitely looks so much better now that I'm playing it in this. So, Nos Grimazong. Let's talk to him. I have come to offer my service to this party of elves. Here we are as Dwalin Bid, standing amongst the party of elves who arrived when we did. But now what? Who should we talk to? That fellow over there, the dark-haired one, looks to be the leader of this company. Dwalin sent us to find out why they are here, and if we may be of any assistance to them. You are the more cur courteous dwarf, Rorkoff. Go on, speak to all to that t tall fellow. Do you think he speaks the common tongue? Let's just tell me where quests are. Elden. It is interesting that the dwarves arrived when we did, though we came for different purposes. Hell, my f hell, friend dwarf. I was not aware that Dwalin, a former guest of my father's, had come he hither as well. Perhaps our two quests are not unrelated. I and my brother El. Or here, here, El here. These are the sons of Elrond. I've come to investigate a dream my father had. Evil stirs, or it will if we are too late. You have been to this area more recently than we. It has been many long years since last these elves were in Eldian. Their return, they ru their ruined home of old. Perhaps you can help us with your knowledge of these halls. Oh, I gotta pick a ward. Leather. We'll go with chainmail. Might you spare a moment of your time? My father is. My father is great among the wise, and his dreams and foretellings do not often stray from the mark. These are the words he imparted to me: blood red footsteps upon now colored black, where the dar dour king walks to ta to take back his throne, and finish what we what he what it was begun. I am no riddle master, but some of the elves of my company have skill in solving such things. Come, let us speak with the riddle master, Marathon and Doralas, for Doralas bade us come here. Hopefully, they know what they, where to start looking. All right, let me put on my chainmail now. Let's see, it is better. It is much better. All right, let's move over here and talk to. Marathon. There's gonna be a lot of reading, by the way. Megavonin. Megavonin. What do you make of this riddle? I am here to solve the riddle that is Elrond's dream. Look yonder, Rorkoff. Thorin's hall belches smoke and soot, and the white snow of the mountain is black. Ere it touches the floor of the valley, upon now colored black. What do you think is a rather literal for a riddle? I was the one who led the party here, but there is a slight flaw in my thinking. For I believe the Dower King is none other than Skorkim, King of the Durans of old. There is only one problem with my logic. Skorum has been dead for many long years. He died here when he tried to raid Eldian for elven relics that he believed would ensure his immorality. Immortality. I hope I have not led the party astray, but my heart tells me Skorkim is part of the story. Let's talk to Eldon. Why did Dorolas lead us here? Skorgrim is dead. Dorolas led us here because he believes that Skorkim is the Dower King in my father's dream. Had I known, I would have never... Let this party be led here. Skorkim is dead. My father watched him die. But Merthem believes she has found a piece of the puzzle. The black snow dirtied from the Durahans. Slo slovenly stewardship of these halls. 
I will permit the investigation to continue, but I am very skeptical and disappointed in Doralas's judgment. Whether Doralas was right or wrong in leading us here, my heart warns me that danger is near, as it as is often the case with the wide world of late. Before getting started, everyone should be prepared. You are a guardian, as I can see plainly, but have you mastered your skills? I fear that you will be tested as a warrior in these harsh mountains. You should speak with your trainer to make sure you are... Yeah, okay. All this gear is so much better than what we've got, which is great. We need better gear. You know, we just do. Talk to you. Might you spare a moment of your time? I am here to help you learn how to use skills that will make you more powerful, Guardian. As you gain levels, more skills will become a will become available. Guardians rely on reactive. Yeah, I already know all that. Strike train dumbing with sword swipe. <laughs> Megavonin. We want a sword. We want to be a dwarf with a sword. I don't care what anyone says. That's cool. What do you need? How can I be of service? We already have some silver. All right. Let's see. Let's talk. Let's go back and talk to Elton. You have a true warrior's heart. Well done, Rokwak. You have a true warrior's heart. Learning the ways of a guardian throughout your life is not an easy feat, but it is rewarding. I will give Dorlas Theory a chance. Since we are here, Marathon is not unconvinced either. We should investigate the ruins of Eldian, the place where Scorkum fell to ensure the that he is still dead. Fell to ensure that he is still dead. The elves watched him die, so if Scorkum Grave is undisturbed, then the mystery will be even greater. Now we have to go back up here. See, I was so confused when I first played this game. Because I didn't read anything. Like, I didn't read anything. I didn't want to. Reading was always really boring to me, so, like, I just skipped right past it. But because of that... I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know what was going on. I had no idea what was going on. But now I get it. And if you play through the uh, the elven tutorial, like if you make an elf, you actually get to watch Scork here get, you get to see what happens to this place. And that, we might end up doing that one day, we'll see. I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. I am lucky to be alive for the injuries I bore the day of Eldian fell. I, I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. It is only a shadow of its former glory. Only pain remains. There will be enemies in this area, if I'm correct. Uh, maybe not. I thought there was, like, bugs here. There are spiders and stuff in this game, which I don't like, but hey. Nathaniel. When Athelion fell. I was a healer, but my strength in mending was not enough to mend the hurt. Hurts caused by Scorkum and his Durahan warriors. I cannot return here without great sadness in my heart. It was such a needless war. He sought immortality in the relics we kept here, but found only death. I guess one there were enemies here. I'm gonna turn down the music. Not all the way down, but just like. Yeah, that's much better. It was loud. I also don't know if this is copyrighted. I'd hope not, but hey. It was across this bridge that brave Taligan brought the library's walls down upon Scorkum and killed and himself. Thus putting an end to Scorkum's lust for immortality. The walls smut them both as they crumbled. But that is a strange flower. One that I have never seen before. Is it familiar to you, dwarf? Will you lend me your ear? You are the dwarf that discovered Scorkum's body some years ago. Are you not? 
It was the ruined cellar of Eldian's library that you came upon, above which Skorkum Durahan fell to his doom after attacking my fair city. The mine is just down the mountains from here. You should perhaps continue your search where it started and see if his body, if his body lies preserved there still. For my part, I have no wish to look upon Skorkum again. All right, sure. Rorokoff of the Iron Hills. That's my name now. And so we're free. Basic supplies, buffs, boost gear. Sure. We got. One gold. Cool. I'm not going the right way. Didn't we? Did we get the gold? Hold on, wait, no. Virtue XP. Uh, we can't use that. Item level 90. A pile of copper scraps can be sold to any vendor for a coin. We might do that real quick. That's cool, though. I didn't think I didn't know you could do that. Not gonna lie, guys. There's gonna be a lot of things in this that I don't understand. That I don't know. I hope I seem a little bit less, like, out of it. And what I mean is, like... Uh, like um, like I said, the last one I was really, uh, last episode I was really. Um. How may I be of service to you? I got gold now. I have to buy a horse, which we'll probably buy until we get to a certain level. But I'm sorry that I seem so, you know, distracted. I'm sure that last episode was not very interesting. Stairs full tea. We'll probably also start playing. I want to start getting into some MMOs on the side. Because I like MMOs. <laughs> this is about where it told me to go, I think. It's gonna take a little bit of learning to play this as well, cause like it's a little bit um, harder to understand. Yeah, young wolf boss. Sure, cause we can sell it. Money is very important. We're getting the XP. And I, I, the only thing I do dislike about this game is you don't actually get to fight any like orcs and stuff for a while. If I remember correctly. Gotta get that XP, you know? I'm liking be a uh, DC universe. Such a good idea to try and kill everything.
If I'm correct, this game is a lot more book heavy than it is uh, movie heavy. Like, the designs for a lot of the creatures and stuff come straight from the book. I should level up just from killing them. I just like the idea of a dwarf with a sword more than a dwarf with an axe. Personally, red flowers. Like certain items for your quest, most of these items will be stored in your quest log if you ever want to see how many. Okay, cool. Let's kill these two real quick. Because I want to level up. There we go. Now we're level four. Sweet. I love the fact that our health numbers go. I don't know. It's something like it reminds me of like Sword Art Online. Which I think totally needs a permadeath, permadeath MMO. I know a lot of people say it's too hardcore, but I'm like, nah, that sounds dope. Like, that actually sounds dope. Alright, now we should get back up to uh, Eldon. You go up this way real quick. You can go into first person, but first person's weird. I don't know why you wouldn't go. Or you can go really far out and see just how small you are. I think about here is good. I'm so small. I got such short little legs. I'm so small. <laughs> Your level has changed to four. You've earned 14 XP for a total of 50, 554 XP. You've acquired the sweeping cut skill. Cool. Can I use on some elves? That is a vile little flower, and one I have not seen before. You say it grew where Scorcrum died, and where his body lay in death for all these years. Such magic is not un not common with dwarves. His body has been moved, though we do not know where. It seems that the flowers follow him in death. Perhaps they will lead us to his grave. Red flowers leading a trail of blood through the snow. A trail, Rorkoff. Red flowers leading a trail through the snow. Do you think these are the footprints of blood? Blood red footprint footsteps upon now snow colored black where the Dower King walks to take back his throne and finish what was begun. We have black snow and the body of the Dower King has been removed leaving the what fell flowers as footprints. Something evil is at work here. And I am sure something evil was at work when we when he sought our relics for immortality. We must follow him again, my brother. It, my brother is scouting for signs as well. Seek him as you search. Yes, sir.
How may I be of service to you? Poor guy's about to run out of money because of me. Alright, now we gotta... We can go around this way, it's fine. Oh, okay, good, we didn't break our legs. You can actually break your legs if you fall from a height that's that high. Let's see. Oh, it's all red flowers. Oh, guys. Uh, there's the next one. There's enemies around. Um, that scared me. I guess we have to inter interact with them. Hush, doggy. The petals of this evil looking flower are blood red. I hear the dogs. Look what the dour hands have done Rook to off. this place. Rokoff, I did not expect to see you here. I asked to speak with the stewards, and the Dora hands directed me here. This was once a great storage house of Thorin's. I don't think I like what the Dura hands have done with this place. Down yonder is Gormer, the steward appointed by Thorin before he left. I heard one of the guards here talking down yonder. Talking down yonder is Gormir, the steward appointed by Thorin Oakenshield before he left. Gormir is the reason we have come and the leader of this Dora hand rabble. You see all over the place. You see all over the place. You are the well-spoken one in our party, Rorkoff. You might as well go speak with him and find out what he has done here and why he has grown silent over the years. But yeah, about your business. Have you come to pay your respects at Skogrim's tomb? Is it, Rorkoff? It has been long indeed since last we met. I remember you. You were the dwarf that discovered Skogrim's body that day. I discovered the relics. He saw it. The long beards of Dwalin's party are not welcome here. But you, you might allow for, for your good deed. Do you like what I have done with this place? Welcome to Skorkum's tomb. No one is to gain admittance to Skorkum's tomb. I'm afraid you have come here for nothing anyway, Orkoff. No point is to gain. No one is to gain admittance to Skorkum's tomb. It's a sacred ground, and only descendants of Skorkum, that is the Durahans, have leave to enter. You are more than welcome to pay your respects to our fallen king at this shrine, which is just east here in the Rock Belly Pit. Skorkum was a great king, after all, and deserves tribute. You've gone insane. You should pay your respects to Skogrim. Lord Gormir has told us that you have, were the one to first discover Skorkum's body the day the Silver Deep Mine nearly collapsed when Gormir took his stewardship. This has earned you a small amount of favor with us, even though you are a party of Longbeards. Your party of Longbeard has come unbidden and unwelcome. We are having a commemoration of Skorkum's many achievements as king of the Durahans. 
But we need ritual stones. Black is pitch. I was not able to find enough for everyone that planned to attend. They are a form of tribute to Scorkin King. You should make yourself useful and collect some more. They can be found in and around the Winter's Gate east of here. I go back around. That's why I want to get some horse. A horse. All right, leg itches. All right, let's see. Go back up here and collect black stones from the ritual of commemoration for the ritual. No. Okay, good. We didn't fall that far. And though we keep falling. Moria, fifty plus level, Lord of the Rings. 60 plus level. Between Gandalf and Saruman, their powers are strange and abstract. Kind of psychic, kind of ma magic. And abstract, kind of not clear on the nature of their power. Just watching that and listening to the, uh, reading that guys. Reading the, uh, the, uh, the feed. Boladak. Tolkien never explained the rules of his magic. Which I think is better for the story. Yeah, I mean, fair. You got you got hope token. Tip me to drop that. I guess we're going in the mine. Let's go. I don't know if I've ever been to this mine. That scared me. give me the XP that bright blue um, the reason why their names are bright blue bright blue is because I don't really get much XP from them I don't even know if I get any yeah I do I just don't get a lot Killing goblin, uh, not goblins, killing bats. Oh, okay, both of my missions were to come here. Back this way. Oh, wish I known that was right there. We'll talk to you first. Ah, these are the very stones we need. Not bad for Longbeard. Lord Gormir was right. You are not our enemy. Your loyalty to the Durahans would not be forgotten, Guardian. All right, let's talk to what Gormir. Do you want? So you walked into our in our shrine, did you? As you can see, the Durhan's reverence of our fallen king is very great. The Longbeards and the elves do not understand such a loyalty, so this was perhaps a good lesson for you. But do not go away just yet. I'm sure we can think of more tasks to occupy you while you trespass, eh, Rorkoff? It 
It will be a busy day for all my folk. Would you like to be here to witness the ritual of commemoration of our fallen king as steward of these hills? I welcome you to celebrate uh, with us. It will not be long now. In fact, I believe the preparations began tonight. What say you, Orkoff? Think on it. If you will, return to me when you have decided. Just be sure to make the right decision. Run along now, friend. I have no more time for you. It will be a busy day for all my folk. All right. Let's see. What do we look like now? With all this new gear. We look dope. We look cool. But unfortunately, folks, that is all the time I have for this episode. Uh, in the next one, we will go talk to Dwalin about what's going on with Gormir and maybe get inside there and see if we can't figure out why they have his body. But thank you, anyone who watches, and thank you, everyone who watches. As always, I'm Steel, and I'm out.